no drama, just record sales. Mind your business. Oh, wait, put this on there. I'm gonna fuck up the night. <laughs> this thing is a hot ass mess. Uh, Lily. With a strong beat to snap to with a strong beat yeah y'all see this beat get into it what's up everybody it's me you already know cocaine is in the building you see the blonde hair it's cocaine i am in flint michigan swv has a show with dave hollister and um drew hill and i figured you know what i have not vlogged in a minute let me get up here and vlog for you guys so you can see how a weekend with cocaine and SWV is, you know, tonight it's gonna be a good show. We only got like 35 minutes, but we gonna, um, we gonna do what we do, kick it, kill it, and all that good stuff. But yeah, I know I've been promising to come back and do some more vlogs, and I just disappeared for a little while. You guys know that I deal with um, depression and I'm bipolar and all that funky stuff so I you know I was dealing with some things but you know I'm in a better place now so here I is and you know I've been so busy we gotta get into it see how much I can talk to y'all about what I've been doing what I'm getting ready to do and just you know have some fun with me this weekend you know so yes stay tuned and I'll be back real soon bye Because, I'm not, right because what? Because they're not going to believe me. Lily. Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Lily. Hey, you, literally, you literally just <laughs> texted us. No. I then, don't. you don't even have the decency to tell us. I did. No, I did. See, Big D, you just texted us. Why did she do this to us? She a hater. She don't believe us. She don't believe us. She don't believe us. She She don't believe us. She She don't believe us. 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 But she bought me some earrings. So. Oh, so now you want to be nice? And you got your jacket. And I remember you, her yeah. jacket. You got her jacket. She was going to get my jacket, so. And we oh, can excuse her. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> Why you want to melt it? <laughs> These are cute honey packets. Hi. Raw. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Kirk Jalen for teaching this. This is terrible. So, we got to call Corey Boy. Yeah, we going to call right now. I mean, whenever you have one, I'm ready. Yeah. 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 All right. Um. Well, this is like a uh, Nobody wants to see that. Let me flip it around. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I do already have it. 
Wow, we're off the stage. Oh, wait. Put this on there. I'm going to fuck up tonight. <laughs> this is our white manager. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Say hi, Dan. Hi, everybody. Hi, white manager. <laughs> white manager. <laughs> he gets us a red, lot of red manager. He gets us a lot of money. <laughs> that is true. That's yeah. what I mean. Hi. 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 Hello with this sanctified camera. Okay, I'm gonna be saying tonight it was a great night. I'm going to bed. Oh, Amen. Amen, somebody. Day two, we're in Milwaukee. We have a show tonight for the same show with Dave Hollister and um, Drew Hill. You not coming back now, here? Huh. Why not? What come up and do the ready? You want me to come back? Yeah. Right. Anyway, so tonight. I'll be ball. All right, is uh, round two with SWV, Dave Hollister, and Drew Hill. I don't know if I'm gonna um, film uh, at the venue tonight, but um, it's cold out here. Gotta hurry up, cause, you know. See, when y'all see the blonde, just know it's not cocoa, it's cocaine. I get cocaine, cause y'all know, I don't know if y'all know, but I am a bar. I'm one of the bars, and Nicki Minaj is my girl, and I don't get involved in all of that stuff. Um, she's one of my faves. She's one of my top five female MCs. And so, yeah, cocaine, you know. Young money. <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just getting back into this vlog and I keep singing it. But you know, I miss y'all. I know y'all miss me too, young money. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to film tonight. But we'll see. About it. I got 30 minutes to decide whether I'm going to take it to the venue or not. But yeah, this is, it's been all right. It's been all right. I feel like I'm washed out, but this thing is a hot ass mess. Jay, when you need me here when I need you. So anywho, I feel like I'm washed out, but it's gonna be washed out because I don't even know what I'm doing. But yeah, I've been um I've been quite busy. If you I don't know if you guys know, but SWV and Escape filmed a reality show. Yeah. I think you I think you guys are gonna um enjoy it because y'all messy anyway, so right coconuts. <laughs> this month, October, I don't remember the exact date, October of this year makes 30 years for SWV. We stepped on the scene, kicked down the door, and we've sold 30 million records and we're still selling. And so that is just an amazing thing to do you know being in this industry that long you know starting so young and when our 50s we're still doing what we love we argue we fuss we fight we get on each other's nerves but at the end of the day it's all about SWV yes so give it up for SWV in these 30 years honey yeah mm-hmm yeah so yeah we just we're excited we're celebrating we um looking to go on tour soon can't tell you can't give you all the details yet but yeah, it's just been very exciting, you know, working, just enjoying life, you know. Uh, <laughs> I know y'all know this, <laughs> but I lost 50 pounds, y'all. 50 freaking pounds. Let me tell y'all, I had to. It was a life or death situation. I went to the doctor, and I have been going to the doctor for a while, and he just was like, Miss Gamble. You know, you need to lose weight, blah, blah, blah. Get your your blood pressure down. And then I go back and your cholesterol is super high. And I'm like, what in the world is going on here? So I went like at the beginning of this year. And you know, the doctor basically was like, you're going to have a heart attack. Is that what you want? He said, because you're on the verge of having a heart attack. And I was like, excuse me, what? He was like, yeah. And I have to put you on more medication. I'm like, dang. So on top of the, um, the high blood pressure medication i got put on cholesterol medication and he was just like miss gamble you have to lose weight i'm like oh okay okay i'm gonna do it so i'm not even gonna hold y'all i was like i need to try to lose this weight or i need to um get some surgery but 
I didn't get surgery. I actually went to a weight loss clinic. Um, the doctor's name is Dr. Talisha, Talisha Anderson, Dr. Talisha Anderson. She's a beautiful black woman. And you know, I went to her because she helped my brother out. And I went to her and I just, you know, I was like, I need your help. And she was like, I got you. At first the weight, it would come off. Then I would get excited and be like, ooh, I lose a couple pounds and start eating the weight come back. And I was like, no, that's not how you do it. So she basically, she taught me how to um, eat properly. And she did give me some medicine to assist with my weight loss. And you know, some may agree, some may not agree. I don't really care. I needed to lose this weight because I want to be you know, smaller. So um, it took me about a good six months. You know, I, the people online, social media started seeing the weight. What are you doing? What are you doing? And I'm like, okay, I will tell you eventually, but let me see if this thing really works. And it worked. I'm down 50 pounds. Everybody's like, don't lose any more weight. And I'm like, you know, when I'm fat, it has something to say. Now, um, who is that? Why are you knocking on my door? Interrupting me. Here you go. Here you go. Bye. I lost like 50 pounds, so I couldn't wait to go to my doctor, y'all. Usually I hate going to my doctor because I'm like, I do not want to get on this scale and I do not want to hear his mom. But when I got on the scale that morning, I was like, yeah, yeah, you about to see. Let's see what you got to say now. The nurse, she goes, Oh, Miss Campbell, you lost weight. And then, and I get on the scale, she was like, oh my God, you lost a lot of weight. And then, what did you do? Girl, you work in a doctor's office. You should already know how to do that. I go in, I wait for my doctor. He finally comes in and he was like, oh my God, Miss Campbell, you lost a lot of weight. That is a plus, the numbers are good. He was like, your cholesterol is almost there. Three months, I expect it to be there. Your blood pressure is not high. You're doing well with the numbers. So I was very proud of myself. And at this point, I just want to continue to be healthy. I want to be around here for my family and my kids. And um, a lot of times, you know, the doctors, they warn us. They let us know. And we still don't listen to the doctors. We just do what we want. We eat what we want and whatever. And I'm just like, I can't be one of those. You know, I'm back to working out. I'm back to just watching what I eat. And, you know, I no longer need Dr. Talisha Anderson. But I made a very good friend. And, um, yeah, she's pretty dope. And like I I said I love to see a black woman doing her thing. She has her like a huge office in Suffolk, Virginia. And you know what? I'm gonna put her information in the what do you call it? The information box? I don't know. You know, I ain't YouTube savvy yet. But I'll give you her information so you guys can if you live in Virginia, whatever, you can just call her and see what she can offer you. But she's pretty dope. But yes, y'all, I, I gotta get ready. I gotta put my clothes on so I can go over to the venue, do this show, and Come back. I know y'all heard that man talking in my room. Mind your business. <laughs> I'll see y'all. Um, if not tonight, tomorrow. Because I'm going to this thing for Missy Elliott. She's getting the street named after her in Virginia. So we got to go support Miss Demina. You know what I'm saying? And I may bring my, my little thing, my camera along and get some footage. But yeah. Deuces, guys. Mwah. See y'all in a few. Bye. So he surprised me with some nice roses. Don't ask who he is, it's none of your business. I love roses. Thanks, babe. I'm so sweet. <laughs> I love flowers. Y'all, this is about a couple weeks later. <laughs> but I'm about to unbox something. SWV, we got it going on. We got it going on so much. This is like all singers aspire to have this kind of success like 30 years later. Because y'all know this is the 30th year for SWV. 
do to the beans. Y'all, let me show y'all what's, what's tea. What's tea? <gasps> oh. Okay, so it's uh, a plaque for right here. Since verses, y'all, even before verses, y'all, it says Cheryl Coco Gamble to commemorate certified, certified platinum sales of more than a million copies of the RCA record single right here. I'll be right here. Y'all, this, this record came out in 1992. We are in 2022 and we are still selling records, y'all. Yeah. No, yeah. no drama, just record sales. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shaking. Oh, all of this right here is annoying. This plaque right here is the reason why we work as much as we do now. If we could just go to concert and sing concerts and sing this song only, yeah. They would love it. This is for a week, selling three million copies. Uno, dos, tres. Tres million copies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no drama, just record sales. You know what I'm saying? I got And what, what, what song is, what is this? I don't know if I know about this song. One million? We getting it. We mm -hmm. doing the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? 1992, remember. 30 years later and we still getting plaques, y'all. These are new plaques. I have plaques already, but these are newer plaques. What is, this ain't three million. I don't know why they, oh well, for this album. I have this one already, but I'll show y'all anyway. This oh, is that from, is nice. This is from our first album, Certified. Three million copies, which we are kind of ready, but we are 30 million worldwide. I'm waiting for them to come next. Shut up! This is it, y'all. We got our plaques. Ow. SWV, we in the house, y'all. And again, numbers don't lie. I'm so proud of my girls. We've come a long way and done so much. <sighs> Argued, fussed, and fight, and fought, excuse me. But we still here, we still doing it 30, 30 years later, right? That was my unboxing for today. Now, this video y'all about to get, it's a whole bunch of stuff. It's gonna be all over the place, but I owed you guys a video from a long time ago. I'm gonna try to stay on it though. And I got Jalen behind the camera. Finally helping his mother out. Y'all know what I told y'all that he don't like to help me edit, but we here. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Deuces.